Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I go by London Cooks and in today's tutorial we are making some delicious honey garlic chicken. Now if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit the pause button, hit the subscribe button and join the fam, turn your post notifications on and stay tuned. going to be using today and of course these will be listed below so we're going to be using six boneless chicken thighs and if you have chicken breast on hand you guys go ahead and use that six cloves of fresh garlic one lime which I'm going to use just to clean my chicken this is one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch butter this is salted butter, but if you guys have unsalted butter on hand, go ahead and use that. Crushed red pepper. Chicken seasoning. Black pepper. Garlic powder. Paprika. Some honey. Chicken broth, and this is the same as chicken stock. Some vinegar for cleaning my chicken and a little oil for frying. First I'm going to get started by prepping my chicken. I'm going to clean the chicken of any excess fat and anything that I don't want to eat I'm going to remove from the chicken and then next after that I'm going to cut my chicken into little bite-sized pieces. Next, I'm going to cut these into little bite-sized pieces. Just like so. Next, we are going to get this washed using the juice of this half of a lime, a little vinegar, and cool water. Now that our meat is washed and cleaned, I'm going to pat dry using a paper towel and it may not be possible, but I'm trying to get out as much of the water out of here as possible. Next, I'm going to combine two teaspoons of each of my seasonings to this bowl. So that's two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons chicken seasoning, two teaspoons paprika, a half of a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, and you can leave this out if you prefer, you guys, if you don't like spicy stuff, I doubt it should, it should be that strong, but if you don't like spicy stuff, you can definitely leave that red pepper flakes out. I'm also going in with two teaspoons of all-purpose seasoning and I did not show this earlier. Now I'm just going to combine this and pour this over my chicken. Next I'm going to pour the seasoning mix over the chicken and also the cornstarch. Now I'm going to ensure that this combines evenly and then it's time for cooking. You can use your hands to do this, you can use a spoon, whichever one you prefer. For cooking, I'm using a large non-stick skillet this over a medium high heat. I have also added enough olive oil just to coat the pot. My pot is now ready and I'm going to now add the chicken in batches. You definitely do not want to overcrowd the pot as you want these to get a nice brown color and if you add too much chicken to the pot at once the chicken may start to steam instead of frying. I'm going 
going to allow these to brown on each side for about five to six minutes or so. Again, do not overcrowd your pot if you want it to get that nice brown color. All right, we are at the five minute mark. Now, I'm just gonna turn these over. And do you see that really beautiful color that the chicken already has on here? If you're doing this in batches just like me you may need to add small amounts of oil to the pot each time you add the chicken in here to fry my second batch is now done and so now I'm gonna go ahead and add the first batch back to the pot now I'm going to go in with one and a half tablespoons of butter Next, I'm going to go in with the six bowls of minced garlic. And my stove is still on a medium high heat, you guys. Just going to give this a nice stir just so that our garlic doesn't burn. And you know, garlic burns pretty easy. So, you definitely want to give this a stir once you put the garlic in there. Next, I'm going to go in with about a quarter cup of honey. Give this a stir. And lastly, we are going in with about a half a cup of the chicken stock or chicken broth. If you don't have chicken stock or chicken broth, you can use a half a cup of water with about a half of a chicken bouillon or about two teaspoons of chicken bouillon. I do definitely advise that you taste your pot as you go just so that you can adjust your seasonings. And you guys don't have to use every single thing that I use. Please feel free to subtract or add things to this recipe as you like. So now I'm going to allow my chicken to simmer for about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to cover this and allow the flavors to marry and come together. My chicken has been simmering for about the last eight minutes or so. And the chicken is now done, you guys. Look at that. Oh my god, you guys, I wish you could smell this. Do you see that? Beautiful color. It smells delicious. You guys, my kids are back in school and I do not have long hours to be in the kitchen during the week. So these quick meals delicious meals that is has definitely been saving my life for sure and i hope you guys enjoy this recipe you can serve this chicken with some plain white rice or you can serve it with 
steamed veggies or steamed veggies and white rice. Your choice. And there you have it, you guys. Honey garlic chicken. Super easy, quick, and very delicious. My family and I had this with some plain white rice and it was everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this recipe with your family and friends. And as usual, feel free to switch up anything that I did. You don't have to follow anyone's recipe to a T. And as usual, happy cooking and see you guys in the next tutorial.